Chapter 9. Vibration. Nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates. The Kybalion. The great third hermetic principle, the principle of vibration, embodies the truth that motion is manifest in everything in the universe. That nothing is at rest, that everything moves, vibrates in circles. This hermetic principle is recognized by some of the early Greek philosophers who embodied it in their systems. But then, for centuries, it was lost sight of by the thinkers outside of the hermetic ranks. But in the 19th century, physical science rediscovered the truth, and the 20th century scientific discoveries have added additional proof of the correctness and truth of this centuries-old hermetic doctrine. The hermetic teachings are not only is everything in constant movement and vibration, but that the differences between the various manifestations of the universal power are due entirely to the varying rate of mode of vibration. Not only this, but even the all in itself manifests the constant vibration of such an infinite degree of intensity and rapid motion that it may be practically considered as at rest. The teachers directing the attention of students to the fact that even on the physical plane a rapidly moving object, such as a revolving wheel, seems to be at rest. The teachings are to the effect that spirit is at one end of the pole of vibration, the other pole being certain extremely gross forms of matter. Between these two poles are millions upon millions of different rates and modes of vibration. Modern science has proven that all that we call matter and energy are but modes of vibratory motion, and some of the more advanced scientists are rapidly moving toward the position of the occultist who hold that the phenomena of mind are likewise modes of vibration or motion. Let us see what science has to say regarding the question of vibrations in matter and energy. In the first place, science teaches that all matter manifests in some degree the vibrations arising from temperature or heat. Be an object cold or hot, both being but degrees of the same thing, it manifests certain heat vibrations, and in that sense is in motion vibration. Then all particles of matter are in circular movement from corpuscles to suns. The planets revolve around suns and many of them turn on their axes. The suns move around greater central points and these are believed to move around still greater and so on ad infinitum. The molecules of which the particular kinds of matter are composed are in a state of constant vibration and movement around each other and against each other. The molecules are composed of atoms which likewise are in a state of constant movement and vibration. The atoms are composed of corpuscles, sometimes called electrons, ions, etc., which are also in a state of rapid motion, revolving around each other, and which manifest a very rapid state and mode of vibration. And so we see that all forms of matter manifest vibration in accordance with the hermetic principle of vibration. And so it is with the various forms of energy. Science teaches that light, heat, magnetism, and electricity are but forms of vibratory motion connected in some way with and probably emanating from the ether. Science does not as yet attempt to explain the nature of the phenomena known as cohesion, which is the principle of molecular attraction, nor chemical affinity, which is the principle of atomic attraction, nor gravitation, the greatest mystery of the three which is the principle of attraction by which every particle or mass of matter is bound to every other particle or mass. These three forms of energy are not as yet understood by science, yet the writers incline to the opinion that these two are manifestations of some form of vibratory energy, a fact which the hermeticists have held and taught for ages past. The universal ether, which is postulated by science without its nature being understood clearly, is held by the hermeticist to be but a higher manifestation of that which is erroneously called matter, that is to say, matter at a higher degree of vibration, and is called by them the ethereal substance. The hermeticists teach that this ethereal substance is of extreme tenuity and elasticity, and pervades universal space, serving as a medium of transmission of waves of vibratory energy, such as heat, light, electricity, magnetism, etc. The teachings are that the ethereal substance is a connecting link between the forms of vibratory energy, known as matter on the one hand, and energy or force on the other, and also that it manifests a degree of vibration in rate and mode entirely its own. Scientists have offered the illustration of a rapidly moving wheel, top or cylinder, to show the effects of increasing rates of vibration. The illustration supposes a wheel, top or revolving cylinder, running at a low rate of speed. We will call this revolving thing the object in following out the illustration. Let us suppose the object moving slowly. It may be seen readily, but no sound of its movement reaches the ear. The speed is gradually increased. 
In a few moments its movements become so rapid that a deep growl or low note may be heard. Then as the rate is increased the note rises one in the musical scale. Then the motion being still further increased the next highest note is distinguished. Then one after another all the notes of the musical scale appear rising higher and higher as the motion is increased. Finally, when the motions have reached a certain rate, the final note perceptible to human ears is reached and the shrill, piercing shriek dies away and silence follows. No sound is heard from the revolving object, the rate of motion being so high that the human ear cannot register the vibration. Then comes the perception of rising degrees of heat. Then, after quite a time, the eye catches a glimpse of the object becoming a dull, dark reddish color. As the rate increases, the red becomes brighter. Then, as the speed is increased, the red melts into an orange. Then the orange melts into a yellow. Then follow successively the shades of green, blue, indigo, and finally violet as the rate of speed increases. Then the violet shades away and all colors disappear, the human eye not being able to register them. But there are invisible rays emanating from the revolving object, the rays that are used in photography and other subtle rays of light. Then begin to manifest the peculiar rays known as the X-rays, etc., as the constitution of the object changes. Electricity and magnetism are admitted when the appropriate rate of vibration is attained. When the object reaches a certain rate of vibration, its molecules disintegrate and resolve themselves into the original elements or atoms. Then the atoms, following the principle of vibration, are separated into the countless corpuscles of which they were composed. And finally, even the corpuscles disappear, and the object may be said to be composed of the ethereal substance. Science does not dare to follow the illustration further, but the hermeticists teach that if the vibrations be continually increased, the object would mount up the successive states of manifestations, and would in turn manifest the various mental stages, and then on spiritward, until it would finally re-enter the all, which is absolute spirit. The object, however, would have ceased to be an object long before the stage of ethereal substance was reached, but otherwise the illustration is correct inasmuch as it shows the effect of constantly increased rates and modes of vibration. It must be remembered in the above illustration that at the stages of which the object throws off vibrations of light, heat, etc., it is not actually resolved into these forms of energy, which are much higher in the scale, but simply that it reaches a degree of vibration in which those forms of energy are liberated, in a degree, from the confining influence of its molecules, atoms, and corpuscles, as the case may be. These forms of energy, although much higher in the scale and matter, are imprisoned and confined in the material combinations by reason of the energies manifesting through and using material forms, but thus becoming entangled and confined in their creation of material forms, which to an extent is true of all creation, the creating force becoming involved in its creation. But the hermetic teachings go much further than those of modern science. They teach that all manifestation of thought, emotion, reason, will or desire, or any mental state or condition, are accompanied by vibrations, a portion of which are thrown off and which tend to affect the minds of other persons by induction. This is the principle which produces the phenomena of telepathy, mental influence, and other forms of the action and power of mind over mind, with which the general public is rapidly becoming acquainted, owing to the wide dissemination of occult knowledge by the various schools, cults, and teachers along these lines of thought. Every thought, emotion, or mental state has its corresponding rate and mode of vibration, and by an effort of the will of the person, or of other persons, these mental states may be reproduced, just as a musical tone may be reproduced by causing an instrument to vibrate at a certain rate, just as color may be reproduced in the same way. By a knowledge of the principle of vibration, as applied to mental phenomena, one may polarize his mind at any degree he wishes, thus gaining a perfect control over his mental states, moods, etc., in the same way he may affect the minds of others, producing the desired mental states in them. In short, he may be able to produce on the mental plane that which science produces on the physical plane, namely, vibrations at will. This power, of course, may be acquired only by the proper instruction, exercises, practice, etc., the science being that of mental transmutation, one of the branches of the hermetic art. A little reflection on what we have said will show the student that the principle of vibration underlies the wonderful phenomenon of the power manifested by the masters and adepts, who are able to apparently set aside the laws of nature, but who in reality are simply using one law against another, 
one principle against others and who accomplish their results by changing the vibrations of material objects or forms of energy and thus perform what are commonly called miracles. As one of the old hermetic writers has truly said, he who understands the principle of vibration has grasped the scepter of power. End of lesson.